Hi everyone, I, today I thought I would come on here and show you the books I got for February. Um, I didn't get as many in this, in this month because we had a lot of snow come in and I wasn't able to get out as often, but I do have some here. Most of it came from, well, I bought it, we bought it ourselves. Some of it came from Goodreads, and one of them came from an author because I wanted to read it, so he sent it to me. So, the first one I have here is heaven. Um, I know this one's a third book in a series, well, series or whatever. Um, my husband didn't know this, though. We did end up paying $5.99 for it, though, because this was my um, gift for Valentine's Day from my husband, or at least one of them. The next one, let's see. This is one of the ones I got from Goodreads. And it's 14 days to cooler, calmer, and happier you. Um, I, I can't pronounce the title of it, but, and it's hardback. Um, they sent it to me because I won it, of course, from Goodreads. The other book I got from my husband this month because of Valentine's Day is City of Bones. And we did end up paying $4.99 for this one. But like I said, that's only going to be like on holidays and that stuff. He is reading this book right now. And that's why you see a bookmark thing in this book. This is one of the books I got today. And we paid 99 cents for it. It's <clears throat> The Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. Um, and I just realized I hadn't, I haven't been telling you the people that read it. Sorry. I'm sure you know who wrote City of Bones and that though. This is another one I got today from the mail. Um, it's An Honest Mistake by B.B. Teeter. Um, I got this one from Goodreads also. This is a second book and I don't have the first one, so I'm not sure when I'll be able to read this one, but I'll get it at some point. Maybe. The next one is A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin. I'm sure you all know this. Um, yes, it's not a new book by any means. We didn't get a cover for this one. But I don't know if you can see that, but we got it somewhere for... 69 cents. So, and this is hardcover. 
like I said, it's not in very good condition, but it's still readable and it's good enough for me. So, whatever. Um, another one we found is Graceling by Christian Cashewer. Um, this one, again, was 99 cents. We didn't get this one today, though, but we got it earlier in the month. And, yes, it's a little beat up, but so are most of my books. I don't really care. <laughs> This one is the one that an author sent to me, and I thank him more than I could ever tell him. This is what Jennifer saw, a gripping tale of suspense, is what somebody said on there, and it's by Hal Sure. I have no idea, Sherwig. I'm sorry. I know I butchered his name, but yeah. Oh well. I'll let you guys know what I think of these books, of course, but after I read them. This one I got really, really mad about. As you can see, um, this book isn't in the best condition, and I did get it off of uh, Goodreads, but one of my uh, UPS guys decided to put it in a pile of melting snow, so it came to me a little wet. Well, a lot wet, which is why you see the pages are like this, but in the book cover is a little weird, but, and still readable, so I'll read it, um, like I said, I got really, really mad because of this, but there's nothing I can do about it, so I'll read it anyways. This is another one I got today, and yes, I'm really, really, really behind on most of the books that people were reading. This is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Um, I did get it for 99 cents, so... When I saw that, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Um, I didn't get the others in the series, though, because they weren't there. Not yet, anyways. So, we'll figure it out. How did this one get that? But anyways. And this one is um Jack B. Nimble. Book uh no, it's Jack B. Nimble Gargoyle Goyle, sorry. It's book one and it's supposed to be a thriller by Ben English. I did win this from Goodreads. I think. Yeah. So, and he did sign, and he did sign it for me, so, I thank him so much for this one, too. Another one I got. From Goodreads is <clears throat> oh, 
short stories of America's highways. America's highways. It's called For the Road. Um, by I'm not even sure. Um, oh, it's got a lot of authors to it. Let's see if I can, if I know any of these authors. Nope. Not many of them. Or not any of them. So, yeah, I'll let you know what I think of this one. Oops. I'm kind of sitting in a weird spot right now. Um, the next one is The Secret Garden by Francis, Francis Block Hudson Burnett. And this is a hardcover and it's got deckled edges. And it's illustrated by Troy Howell. But I thought this was in pretty good condition, so. And I've never read it before, so I decided to pick it up from Goodwill at some point this month. Or this last month, or whatever. And I got three more, but. This one's called Shout and Shattered Silence. Um, the untold story of a serial killer's daughter by Melissa G. Moore with M. Bridget Cook. Um, if you guys don't know this about me, I like watching things like this. Um, yes, I know, it's weird, and my husband thinks it's weird, too. I would never think of doing anything like that to anybody, though. So, of course. Um, this one is Savor Me Slowly by Gina Showalter. Showalter. Sorry. And that's what it looks like. And back on the back it says half human, half machine, and all woman. So I got these from Goodwill too. It was a week that Goodwill had really, really, really good books, but I could only get some of them. But this one is After Dark by Gina Showalter and uh, Kate Bollinger. And that's what that looks like. And the last book I have in here is Missing Links. And as far as I know, it's like a self-help book that I got from Goodreads. So, and it's by uh, Daniel Petra. And if I didn't say that right, I'm sorry, but that's what that looks like, and that is all for the books this month, here, um, but I did get one more thing that was free, and that is three, um, 
you know, three things of tea, three packets of tea. Um, so the first one is English breakfast. And the second one is pure peppermint. And the last one is chai. I'm not sure how these are or if I'm going to like them, but, um, whoops, I hope I didn't show my address. <laughs> or if I'm going to like them, sorry. But, um, I got them so I could try them out. But, that is all I have for this month. Um, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.